Namaskar students today we are going to discuss about tenses tenses tense of a verb shows the time of an action or event that means in which time an action happens read the following sentences number 1 i write this letter to please you number 2 i wrote this letter in his very presence and number 3 i shall write another letter tomorrow so here in sentence 1 the verb write refers to present time in sentence 2 the verb wrote refers to past time and in sentence 3 the verb shall write refers to future time thus a verb may refer to present time to past time and to future time so a verb that refers to present time is said to be in the present tense as i write i love here right and love these verbs are in present tense a verb that refers to past time is said to be in the past tense as i wrote i loved wrote loved these are in past tense and a verb that refers to future time is said to be in the future tense as i shall write i shall love shall write shall love these are in future tense thus there are three main tenses the present the past and the future next we are going to discuss about forms of tenses we have read about three main tenses three main kinds of tense present past and future but these three main kinds of tense have also four forms they are simple or indefinite number 2 continuous number 3 perfect number 4 perfect continuous next we will discuss about the three main kinds of tense and their sub kinds first we will take present tense and its first sub kind simple present tense or uh, present indefinite tense its role is the first form or the basic form of the verb is used in the simple present tense for the third person singular number like he she it and other singular nouns s or es is added to the verb now we are going to know where is simple present tense used the simple present tense is used to express a habitual action as he drinks tea every morning so here you can see s is added to the main main or the basic form of the verb drink as he is in singular number next it is used to express general truths like the sun rises in the east number 3 to show a future event which is already arranged or already planned like we leave for agra on monday so this is already planned and number 4 to give orders or make request like please give me your copy clear then present continuous tense present continuous tense is used first we are going to know uh, rule so the its rule is am is are will have to put after subject am or is or are according to the number and person of the subject and then verb with ing or present participle of verb ing added verb clear so the present continuous tense is used for an action going on at the time of speaking as she is singing that means she, she is singing now the boys are playing hockey that means the play, boys are playing hockey now and to express an action expected to take place in the immediate future like i am leaving for kalingpong tomorrow then number 3 it is used for a temporary action which may not be actually happening at the time of speaking as i am reading david copperfield that means i am not reading david copperfield now or at this very moment it means that i am reading david copperfield now it is clear next present perfect tense rule has or have after the subject then you will have to use the past participle form of verb the third form of verb 
It is used to indicate completed activities in the immediate past with the word just as he has just gone out and to express past actions whose time is not given and not definite as have you read Gulliver Travels and to denote an action beginning at some time in the past and continuing up to the present moment. It is used often with the words or phrases since and for as I have known him for a long time. He has been ill since last week. Then present perfect continuous tense rule has been or have been and the past a sorry present participle of the verb that means ing added verb it is used to express an action that began in the past and is still continuing or is, is still going on it has been raining for two hours for two hours it has been raining number two this tense is also sometimes used for an action already finished in such cases, the continuity of the activity is emphasized as an explanation of something. Like, why are your clothes so wet? I have been watering the garden. So, it is, it is completed. The action is completed. Okay. But the continuity of the activity is emphasized. Because he, your clothes are his clothes are still wet so the explanation of this reason explanation of this action is i have been watching the garden this is the reason so in such cases present perfect continuous tense is used next slide now we are going to know about past tense and its sub kinds first is simple past tense Rule, the second form or the past form of the verb is used. It is used to indicate an action that took place at a particular time in the past. The old woman crossed the road very carefully, crossed, to express an action that began and ended in the past. The soldiers fought the battle bravely. Number, uh, number three, to express a past habit or regular action in the past. She always carried an umbrella. So, it was a habit of her. Next is past continuous tense. Rule is, was or where we'll have to put then present participle or ing added verb. To denote, it is used to denote an action going on and at some time in the past, we are listening to the radio all evening. Number two, it is also used with always, continually, etc. for persistent habits in the past. He was always grumbling. Past perfect tense. Rule, hat then will have to put past participle or third form of the verb. It is used to describe and completed before and completed action before a certain moment in the past as I met him in New Delhi in 1996. I had seen him last five minutes before. And if two actions happen in the past, it may be necessary to show which action happened earlier than the other. So, these perfect tense, past perfect tense is used to show the action which happened earlier than the other ac action. The past perfect is mainly used in such situations like the boys had hidden the crackers before the teacher entered the class. So here it is a clause. Okay. So uh, first uh, the boy has had hidden the crackers. Okay. These, these uh, action happened earlier. It is the first action. And for the action, past perfect tense is used here. And for the second action that is happened later, we will use here simple past tense. Like the teacher entered, entered the class. Clear? Next. Past perfect continuous tense. Rule has been plus present participle of the main verb. 
It is used for an action that began before a certain point in the past and continued up to that up to that time as at the time he had been writing a novel for two months. Next, when Mr. Mukherjee came to the school in 1995, he, Mr. Anand had already been teaching there for five years. Then, future tense. Simple future rule is shall or will. We will use then the base form of the or the present form of the verb. Number one, to express an action in the near future like he will come here in the afternoon. Number two, to use this tense to talk about what we think or believe will happen in the future like I am sure Helen will get a first class. Then future continuous tense. Rule is shall be or will be then present participle of the verb. Future continuous tense is used to talk about actions which will be in progress at a time in the future. Like, I suppose it will be raining when we start. So, it is already clear to me, it is uh, already clear to me that it will be raining. Number two, to talk about actions in the future which are already planned or which are expected to happen in the normal course of things. Like, I will be staying here till Sunday. The postman will be coming soon. So, this thing is already expected or already planned. Then, future part of perfect tense. R rule. Shall have or will have and then we will have to put past participle of the third form of the verb. Okay. Next. It is used to talk about actions that will be completed, uh, completed by a certain future. I shall have written my exercise by then. So, I shall have written. So, that will be completed by a certain future. So, by then I will complete my exercise. Okay. He will have left before you go to see him. So, he will have left. So, the action will be completed before you go to see him clear next is future perfect continuous tense rule is shall have or will have plus been and the present participle of the verb it is used for actions which will be in progress over a over a period of time that will end in the future i will have been teaching for 20 years next july okay so it will be in progress for how many days for how many years for 20 years i'll be i will have been teaching clear yeah? so in such cases future perfect tense perfect continuous tense is used then exercise first we'll solve this exercise one do as directed number one he will do his work with diligence so here in the bracket Sim, it is uh, written simple present. So, in simple present tense, you will have to convert this sentence. He will do his work with diligence. So, the sentence, the main sentence is in simple future tense. You will have to convert it into simple present tense. So, what will be the answer? Simple present tense. He does. We first remove the uh, auxiliary or the helping verb will and do will be does as he is in singular number third person singular number so we'll write here he does his work with diligence clear next is uh, i followed his instructions simple future we'll have to convert it into then then that will be interesting present continuous number four i will not allow this to happen simple past number five my trip to the usa was successful simple present number six he worked very hard future continuous number seven i will never raise any demand present perfect number eight he walked out of the room without looking at anybody simple future number nine he is crying at the top of his voice past perfect and number 10 great deeds were never done by small men simple present so these exercise you will have to solve in your language class for copy thank you namashivaya